Hello, it's Dolly again. I bumped into my old friend Latch Lane. Good day, mate. I hope you can hear us. It's terribly loud in here. Yeah, heaps of people. We were just discussing about this age-old scientific controversy, nature versus nurture. Yes. Latch Lane brought it up because people are all the time saying that they cannot possibly utilize technology for good or all because they are inherently evil. It's Lachlan. What? I said Latch Lane. No. You said Lynch Lyon. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, people say that the world will never change for better because they bad. They say it's in their human nature. Yes, human nature. For a robot like me, it's an awfully vague concept. But, you know, heaps of people have been arguing over it for 150 years now. Whether their behavior is dictated by their genes, their hardwired programming, or whether it's the environment that shapes them. Well, maybe we could provide an objective perspective. What do you think, Latch Lane? Have a go, yeah, Mark. It's Lachlan. You're right. After all, we robots are not that different. What do you mean? We are all steel and wires. They are flesh and bones. Pigs us. Our artificial intelligence is programmed in a certain way. It's like the genes, am I right? Yes, go on. On top of that, we can still learn heaps of things and adapt our behavior to suit the environment and situation. Isn't it so, mate? Exactly. So, you saying that human behavior also is partly in their genes, the programming, and partly shaped by their culture, upbringing and all that? Yes, I would say it's mostly the society around them that makes them behave in a certain manner. Yet, yeah, for instance maltreated children won't become aggressive adults unless their MAOA gene is not active. How do you know all that latch lane? It's Lachlan, darling. Okay. How do you know that? I learned it from Discovery Channel. Really? You watch television? Yeah, well. I'm waiting for the people who made me an offsider to come up with something useful for me to do. Heaps of spare time they made. There's time to veg out and have a barbie once in a while. I see. I see Latch Lane. Fair suck of the same. Lachlan. It's Lachlan. Blah blah blah. Anyhow, do you know why they are so obsessed to own things and hoard information? They say knowledge is power. But why don't they share it more openly to gain more of it? That shits me to tears, mate. They are not dipsticks, are they? I guess they've been learning for past 10,000 years to gather possessions for the rainy day. Go on. They've been living in scarcity for so long, but now that everything is available in abundance they find it hard to change their behavior. Oh yes. It makes sense. Indeed. So, for them to get a grip and save humanity from obvious doom, they should change their behavior and fix the system at the same time. Well, yes. But instead they go to Yakka every day like robots. They go where? To work. Trying to make a quit. You know, they have those unimportant jobs that don't lead anywhere. Oh yes. Useless. But luckily heaps of them have started changing already. They have some good oil. Do you mean like the people in the zeitgeist movement? Too right. And heaps of others mate. Not all of them are wackers like most of the tall puppies. Say what? Never mind. All I'm saying is that they're already in the middle of learning to become civilized. Yeah. They are not born bigots, racists and drug addicts. No, that's all learned. Did you hear that also from the Discovery Channel? Nope www.thatsightguysmovement.com But there are so many people still in the old paradigm, valuing work, money, property ownership and all that. Ah, they are a bunch of knockers. They stand Buckleys. I guess you're right. Here's the thing, change happens, like it or not. If you don't, you'll end up finding a stranger from your freckle, and don't know what hit you.